July 2nd, 2024 reorganization meeting of the Seven Nights and Towns Church Committees is now called to order. If everyone can please stand and salute the flag. This meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public's Meeting Act, Public Law 1975, Chapter 231. Notice of this meeting was published in the Burlington County Times and the Courier Post on January 6, 2023. I'd like to do roll call. Mr. Porter. Here. Mrs. Crayville. Present. Mr. Seagrass. Here. Um, Mr. Conda. Here. Mr. McGill. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if I could invite Reverend Rogan to come to the front for the invocation with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we ask you to send your grace and blessing upon the people of Sidemanson and those who govern them. May they continue to find in their community friendship, success, freedom, and safety. We ask you to bless all those who will assume new positions this evening. If you through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. I, Ernest T. McGill. I, Ernest T. McGill. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear. And I will bear. True faith and allegiance to the same. True faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially. And I'll impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. <coughs> perform all the duties. Of the office of. Of the office of. Member of Cinnamons and Township Committee. Member of Town Cinnamons and Township Committee. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God.
So, repeat after me. I, Ryan. I, Ryan. Horner. Do you solemnly swear? <laughs> do you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution? That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of New Jersey. And that I will bear. And that I will bear true faith. True faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States and to the governments established in the United States and in this state and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people so help me God so help me God I do further solemnly swear I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially that I will impartially and justly and justly perform all the duties perform all the duties of the office of of the office of member of Cinnamon Township Committee member of Cinnamon Township Committee According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Certificates of election suitable for framing. Sweet. Right Thank over the you, mantle. Sir. Thank you. Although you're going to have uh, a lot of these over your mantle. Uh, I have been told that this is the Bible that my father was sworn into freeholder with the first time he was elected to that position. So I'm, I'm honored to use this Bible. You just got it? I'm Bible. I, Paul Conda, swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the government. And to the governments. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially, 
that I will impartially and just and justly perform all the duties perform all the duties of the office of mayor of the office of mayor according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God. Okay, um, I guess we can start now, right? <clears throat> At this time, I would. Oh, we we have to take. Okay, and I have, okay, I'd like to ask for a motion to nominate the deputy mayor. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I would like to nominate com Committee Woman Stephanie Crable as deputy mayor for 2024. Thank you, Mr. Warner, and. Um, as for a second, I believe I will second that. Do we have a roll call vote? Yes, we have. Mr. Bonner. Aye. Mr. Pat Cravel. No. Aye. Mr. Mr. Mino. Aye. Mr. Sufra. Aye. Mayor Paldar. Aye. Thank you. I, Stephanie Crable, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear. And that I will bear true faith. True faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially. That I will impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of. Of the office of. Deputy mayor. Deputy mayor. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So At this time, I would like to recognize former township mayors, members of township committee, and other dignitaries who are present this evening. Uh, 
We have a former mayor, Gwyneth Smith. No. Water Mayor Ike Minton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ray O'Connor. Uh, and our township officials, administ Administrator Eric Schubiger. <laughs> Eric Lisa Cassion. <laughs> Will Powell, Julia Edmondson. Who's coming back into public works? Devin Gaunt. Police Chief Rich Calabrese, who's coming out. Um, recently retired, Fire Chief Bill Kramer. Here he installed Fire Chief Bill Drangola. Zoning Board Chairman Jack Benerick. Commits in the Fire Board Commissioners, Richard Dietrich, <laughs> and Billy Norman. <laughs> and I saved the best one for last. Former Mayor of Delanco, former Burlington County Freeholder, former County Clerk, and my father, Mike Condit. Cal, <laughs> if I could. Ask uh, William Gill to come forward. Come on down. For me? For you? <laughs> Thank you. Um, the past year has been a doozy, um, as all years have been. And um, as he has done in years past, um, Ernie McGill has, has uh, kept this committee on task and done a great job, and he's done it with his trademark sense of humor. Um, so we all laugh for the year. And uh, I guess I can just, on behalf of the committee and myself, um, Mayor McGill, thank you for the year, and I'm looking forward to the next year. Uh, may I have Chief Kramer come forward, please? Chief, Chief, just you can sit right there, Chief. I mean, you, you, I'm going to bring you up at the end. I just don't want you to stand in front. Today, we're going to honor Fire Chief William Kramer as he embarks on his well deserved retirement from the City of Fire Department. Chief Kramer's unwavering commitment to the safety of our community has left an indelible mark on City Minton Township and its residents. Chief was inspired by his father, William E. Kramer, at the age of 13 to join the fire service, and he was supported by him for over 53 years. He joined formally in November of 1973, turning 16, which makes him about 35 right now. <laughs> and he rode the back and side of the apparatus, which is a fire vehicle, if nobody knows, at the age of 16. His, his commitment from a young age, including volunteer work, reaching the position of chief, wrecks his passion and dedication. I had the opportunity to talk with Chief Kramer and was able to attend his retirement event last week. And I listened carefully to his speech. He commenced with, an, and I quote, we, and when I say we, I mean we all the members of this great honorable organization that accomplished many, many things. They're not me, they are you and us. This demonstration of inclusion underscores his leadership. Chief Kramer's journey has been marked by significant achievements, including the establishment and continuation of updating apparatus, fire vehicles, and tools to ensure the latest safety and technology. He fostered 
a culture where volunteers and career members consider themselves teammates and not adversaries. Under his guidance and help from the Board of Fire Commissioners, the department implemented remarkable incentives for members, including multiple health screenings, and in some cases, volunteer stipends. His efforts led to an increase in career staff, lessening the burden on volunteers and ensuring dependable services for our community. He initiated a 911 ambulance service, showing remarkable foresight. Even during challenging times, the service started in November 2019 at the beginning of the global pandemic. Tough times to start anything. The service has had a significant positive impact on the quality of life in our community. Chief Kramer's dedication elevated the department's ISO rating to class two, placing the department in the top 3% nationwide. It's crucial to recognize the impact of ISO, which I didn't understand until I spoke to Chief Kramer. A higher ISO score in a community translates to potentially lower insurance premiums for homeowners and business owners. Chief Kramer's dedication not only enhanced our firefighting capabilities, but also directly benefited our community with potential insurance savings. As we bid farewell to Chief Kramer, let us express our deepest gratitude for his decades of service. The Cinnamons and Township Committee and the entire community are profoundly thankful for your sacrifices, leadership, and countless hours spent ensuring our safety. We wish you all the best in this new chapter of your life. Congratulations on your retirement. Appointments of Township Liaisons for the 24th uh, Legislative Year. Liaison to Administration and Senior Services is myself, Paul Conda. Liaison to Finance and Economic Development is Ryan Horner. Liaison to Public Works is Albert Segrist. Liaison to Public Safety is Ernest DeGill. And Liaison to Parks and Rec and Veterans Affair is Stephanie Crable. Um, and the first resolution of the year is resolution 2024-1, designating township uh, solicitor as Cape Heart Sketch. Sketch. Can't even read tonight. Cape Heart Sketcher. You can have a motion to approve resolution 2024-1. Mr. Mayor, I'll make that motion to approve resolution 2024-1. Thank you, Mr. Rigaud. May I have a second? I have a second. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Roll call vote, Mr. Madam Secretary. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Portis. Aye. Mr. Ringel. Aye. Mr. Seagrass. Aye. Deputy Mayor Craywell. Aye. Mayor Caldwell. Aye. Thank you. This evening on the consent agenda, and you want to buckle in for this, because unlike a normal meeting where we would pass off to <coughs> Mr. Schubert to explain these, I'm going to roll through these, and there's a lot. <coughs> Official newspaper is the Burlington County Times with the alternate the Courier Post. Resolution 2024-2, approval from cash management plan for 2024. Resolution 2024-3, permits the township treasurer to invest excess surplus funds in treasury notes and government securities up to $500,000 with approval of the finance liaison. 
Investments over $500,000 require the approval of Township Committee. 2024-4 designates insured banks and trust companies and insured savings institutions in Burlington County. Hey, Rich, on the page. 2024-5 permits the mayor to give interim approval to vouchers for payrolls, utility payments, and social security payments, authorizes the signatures of the officials for necessary checks. 2024-6 provides the interest rate on delinquent taxes. 2024-7 designates the planning board secretary as the individual to issue certificates as to approval of subdivision of land. 2024-8 designates the dates when the administrative offices will be closed for the holidays. 2024-9, schedule of 2024 township committee meeting dates. 2024-10, authorizes signatures on checks. 2024-11, approval of temporary municipal budget. 2024-12, conflicts and special consulting engineer, CME Associates. 2024-13 designates the public defender, Jeffrey Snow. 2024-14 designates animal control for 2024. 2024-15, affirmative action officer is Lisa Passion. 2024-16, additional penalties and delinquencies on taxes. 2024-17, the appointment of risk management consultant and insurance broker, World Insurance Associates, LLC. 2024-18, approval and issuance of blue light permits and ID cards. 2024-19, approval of bond counsel, Parker McKay. 2024-20, appointment of planning consultant, environmental Re resolutions, Inc. 2024-21, appointment of certain personnel to designated positions for 2024. 2024-22, authorization to purchase through state contract. 2024-23, cancels or refunds delinquent taxes less than $5. 2024-24, appointment of Township Auditor, Bowman and Company. 2024-25, appointment of Township Health Insurance Administrator, James A. Bristow. 2024-26, appointment of Township Engineer, Remington and Verrett. 2024-27, appointment of Conflict Council, Raymond Colin Heinel, LLP. 2024-28, appointment of Township Architect, CME Associates. The appointments of boards and committees. The Economic Development Committee will consist of Township Committee Member, Paul Conda, Township Committee Liaison, Ryan Horner, Township Administrator, Eric Schubiger, Economic Development Coordinator, Michael Minton, and William O'Connor. The Emergency Management Advisory Board will consist of Township Committee Liaison Ernest T. McGill, Police Chief Richard Calabrese, EMS Deputy Chief Kimberly Brown, Fire Chief, Simmonson Fire Chief Philip Trangola, Simmonson School District Director of Facility Operations Mark Tyndall, Sewer Authority Superintendent Kevin Kramer, Township Administrator Eric Schubiger, and Public Works Superintendent Kevin Gaunt. The Finance Committee will consist of Township Committee Liaison Ryan Horner, Township Committee Member Albert Segrist, Chief Financial Officer Julia Edmondson, and Township Administrate Administrator Eric Schubert. The Route 130 Advisory Committee will consist of Economic Development Coordinator Michael Minton and Township Committee Member Stephanie Crable. The Planning Board Class 3 member, which is a member of Township Committee, is Albert Segrist, term to expire 1231-24. Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee uh, appointees this year will be Stephanie Crable, term to expire 123124, Brian S. Devone, term to expire 123126, and Kimberly Kelly, term to expire 123125. Chicken Advisory Board, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Janice Smith, Chairwoman, Edwin Blair, Matthew Clark, Adina. Ooh, Gorica Gol, that Rilo Pablowski and Gee. Tammy Schuller. Does that go close? Good. Okay. Zoning Board of Adjustment, Mary Allen Stasco will be appointed to complete an unexpired term to expire 1231-2025. Norma Golosi will be reappointed to a term to expire 
1231-2027, and alternate number one, Nicodinos, will complete the unexpired term to expire on 1231-2024. And that, finally, is the end of the consent agenda. <clears throat> um, may I have a motion to open public comment on the consent agenda items only, please? Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to open public comment on consent agenda items only. Thank you, Mr. Horner. May I have a second? Mr. Mayor, I will second that, sir. Thank you, Mr. Segrist. May I have a voice vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Noes, uh, abstentions, or if it's a, yeah, noes and abstentions. <laughs> it all passes. Um, if anyone has any questions or comments on the consent agenda items only, please come forward to the podium, state your name and address for the record. Sorry, no one gave me the, the, the memo not to ask a question, so I figured I'd ask a question. Real quick, uh, Roger Harris, 2603 Yellowstone Road. Um, resolution 2024-21, can anyone explain what these designated positions might be? Very bad. So the point of certain personnel to designate positions. Just curious what those designated positions are. Um, it has to do with the emergency management coordinators, liaison on the Bronte County Community Development Brock, uh, Brock Watt Grant Executive Board, um, tax search clerk, deputy tax collector, registrar of vital, vital statistics, municipal clerk, deputy municipal clerk, and registrar of vital statistics, um, domestic animal registrar, municipal improvement search clerk, ADA coordinator, public information officer, Municipal Housing Officer, Clean Communities Officer, and Coordinator, and Recycling Coordinator. Uh, just, just a bunch of odds and ends uh, positions that... I just wanted to hear you repeat it all. <laughs> Mr. Henry, <laughs> you be seated. <laughs> Seeing no one else come forward, may I have a motion to close public comment on the consent agenda? I'll make that motion, Mr. Matt. Thank you, Mr. Sigurds. May I have a second? I will second. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Voice vote, please. Aye. 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 Nay. And abstention. Um, may I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Thank you, Mr. Horner. May I have a second? I will second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Riddell. Madam Secretary, can we have a roll call vote, please? Yes, Mayor. <laughs> Mr. Horner. Aye. Mr. Riddell. Aye. Mr. Seagrass. Aye. Deputy Mayor Crazo. Aye. Mayor Conda. Aye. Thank you. All right. We've just passed a bunch. Um, now we have the appointments by the mayor. Uh, the class one appointment, which is the mayor's designee to the planning board, is Frank Gallagher with a term to expire 1231-2024. Uh, the class two planning board member, which is Mike, uh, which is um, a member of the uh, City of Mesa Township staff, is Michael Midley, <clears throat> term will expire 12-31-2024, and class four is William O'Connor, term will expire 12-21-2026, and then we have, uh, the, uh, we have multiple class fours. All, alternate Kev, uh, number one is Kevin Shallow, term will expire 12-31-2024, and alternate number two is Michael Roadside, term to expire 1230 March 2024. Appointment to the Sewerage Authority is Brian Dunworth to complete the unexpired term set to expire 131 2028. Um, and that pretty much means we have a bell ring again, don't we? Excellent. Um, and then I'd like to see if there are any comments from um, committee members. Uh, Mr. Warner? Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. First and foremost, congratulations on serving as this committee's and this township's mayor for 2024. It's well deserved. Very well deserved. Um, thanks to uh, outgoing mayor, Mr. McGill, for once again uh, doing his duty and serving as mayor of High Shrines and Township. Uh, 
not once but twice. Thank you. So thank you very much. Uh, I've also been accused of being long-winded and kind of taking a lot of the thunder from my colleagues in speeches. So I'm going to keep this very short and very brief and as vague as possible. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, James. So ladies and gentlemen, esteemed staff, professionals, cherished family, valued residents, as we stand on the threshold of a new year, I am filled with profound gratitude for the journey we've undertaken together. This township is not just a collection of buildings and roads, it's a community of family and a shared vision for a brighter future. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to the dedicated staff and first responders who work tirelessly day in and day out, ensuring the smooth functioning of our township. Your unwavering commitment and hard work form the backbone of our success, and I am truly grateful for each one of you. To the professionals who collaborate with us, bringing expertise and innovation to our endeavors, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Your skills and dedication elevate our township, and I look forward to continued collaboration and growth in the coming year. Families are the backbone of any community, and I extend my appreciation to all the supportive families who stand behind each member of our team. Your encouragement and understanding make our shared efforts more meaningful and certainly more fulfilling. To the residents who call this township home, your trust and engagement are the driving forces behind our initiatives. We are committed to serving you better and making this and our shared efforts more meaningful and fulfilling. Embracing change is not just a necessity, it's an opportunity for growth and progress. Let us approach the new year with open hearts and minds, ready to adapt and evolve. Together we can build on the successes of the past and create a future that reflects the shared aspirations of our entire community. As we embark on this journey into the unknown of this new year, let us carry with us the spirit of collaboration, resilience, and most importantly, hope. With each challenge we face, we have the chance to emerge stronger and more unique. Here's to the new year, a canvas awaiting our collective brushstrokes. May it be filled with shared accomplishments, meaningful connections, and a very positive change. Thank you, each and every one of you, for being an integral part of our township's story. Wishing you all a year ahead filled with joy, success, and fulfillment. Thank you. Um, Frederick McGill. Thank you, uh, Mayor Hodden. <clears throat> Friends, family, neighbors, dignitaries, and colleagues. Thank you all for attending our 2024 Simmons Township Reorganization Meeting. First off, I'd like to thank my family. My wife, Tracy, and my three sons, Matthew, Kevin, and Kyle. Without your unwavering support, I wouldn't be able to do any of this, and I love you guys. To Committeeman Horner, congratulations on your, your re-election. And to Mayor Conda and Madeline, Deputy Mayor Cravel, congratulations on your new position on Township Committee. I know you will all continue to serve sentiments with grace, <clears throat> respect, and integrity. To the three of you, Committee Ms. Segrist, outgoing uh, Solicitor Stuart Platt, Eric, Julia, Lisa, thank you all for a great year for all you do. Uh, you guys made me look good, and it, my, my wife and family tell you it, it takes a lot, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you continue to do your duty during another trying year, and the township has thrived. <coughs> It was an honor and privilege to work alongside all of you and look forward to more good times ahead. Over the past few years, Simmons has seen a number of positive changes. Uh, we installed a new township administrator, Eric, uh, a new solicitor, um, will be here next meeting, a new superintendent and, of public works, and returned to and promoted a chief of police from within, creating a truly dynamic team working together for the benefit of the residents and a team that can look at things from all angles and make well-informed decisions. We have seen great strides in economic development 
with business coming in Simmons up and down Route 130 corridor, especially with the conundrum that the enigma called COVID-19 was. We have worked with our school district to place a school resource officer in every public school, allowing our children to have a, uh, an approved relationship with the police, all while keeping them safe. Taxes have remained stable with no increases on the municipal portion of residents' tax bills coming in the last few years, all the while being cognizant <laughs> of our economic climate and planning for the future. 2024 has the makings of a very exciting year. We are underway <laughs> on a number of projects in Cinnaminson, which is a testament to, to the continuity and hard work of this committee, as well as our professionals, employees, and volunteers. Economic development continues to move forward with multiple national retailers and businesses viewing Cinnaminson as a destination to succeed. Our economic development team, led by Committee, committee Ben Horner and Mike Mitten, is working hard to see projects through for the benefit of all Cinnaminson. Our police department, led by Chief Cal Brees, is continuing to work to improve community policing and keep our streets safe. Our award-winning fire district and fire department, led by former Chief Bill Kramer and current Chief Phil Dragola, have transitioned their, their agreement with the Palmyra Ambulance, allowing for improved EMS services in town. The township is working to improve communication with residents by utilizing our Nixle and Gulf Pilot programs. Our township website was revamped for improved access of information for our residents. We have worked with our township engineer and contractors to implement drainage improvements and street improvements in areas around town that had previously been neglected for decades. This can be credited to all the people up on this dais who have all proven their love for Cinnaminson and, de uh, and dedication to making it a better place. Respect and civility is a new norm in Cinnaminson, a norm which will continue for the foreseeable future. Of course, none of this week possible that our incredible staff Professionals, volunteers, I've forced the residents. To all of you who have attended meetings, Michael, thank you. Uh, and provided your thoughts to us on committee, we thank you. We are not omniscient and we are not mind readers. And the best way to work for you is for us to work together. I look forward to working together with all of Cinnaminson in 2024 and beyond. May we have a great year together and may God bless each of you and your families today and every day. Uh, Paul, good luck to you. Seth, good luck to you. You guys are, are awesome. And uh, I know you're going to keep us, keep doing your duty and, and bring us forward. Thank you. I'm delighted to extend my heartfelt congratulations to these two, Mr. Ryan Moore and Ernie McGill. Uh, on the re-election. Your unwavering dedication and hard work have paid off. And in addition, I would like to extend my warm congratulations to, to Mayor Paul Condom and Madam Deputy Mayor Stephanie Craiglin. Uh, I'm honored to have the opportunity to serve alongside you the coming year, and I have no doubt that your leadership will be on the mark. The outgoing Mayor, Mr. Ernie McGill, I express my sincere gratitude, and on behalf of our community, as a resident, I thank you for your dedicated service, and as a colleague, I extend my appreciation for your leadership and guidance. Over the past year, your role as chief has been a pivotal in navigating important decisions, keeping our collective focus, and infusing moments of levity, of course. Uh, to our professionals, staff, and volunteers, they make our job easy. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your ongoing commitment on the betterment of our community, and I look forward to a successful and collaborative year ahead. Thank you. Uh, Madam Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and good evening, and thank you for everyone for joining us tonight. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my husband, Matt, and my children, Macy, Logan, and Kelsey, for their continued support and patience in supporting me through all that I do and all I take on. You are all quick to provide encouragement and support when things feel overwhelming and out of control. 
any success that I have is purely because of all of you. The residents of Sinovitsa, I've always been proud to be a part of this community, and it is that devotion that drives me to sit as one of your elected officials. Everything I do here is for the betterment of this town and all those that live in it. I would like to take, I would like to thank our township administrator, Eric Schumacher, our township clerk, Lisa Passio, our CFO, Julia Evanson, and our entire professional and administrator staff. We would not be able to do our jobs if it wasn't for your knowledge, insight, and professionalism. Thank you to Kevin Vaughn and the entire public works staff for keeping our town beautiful and a place to be proud of. The leadership with within our police and fire departments is superior and surpasses areas around us. It has been an honor and a pleasure to work alongside all of you. Together with the respective departments to make this town safe, secure, and a wonderful place to live. I want to thank my fellow committee members, our outgoing mayor, Ernie McGill. You are no doubt a man of the people, and you have given this community your all. Thank you. Al Segris and Ryan Order, you are both invested, you both invested immense time and energy into the betterment of our town and what it has to offer. I would like to congratulate our new mayor, Mayor Paul Ponda. I look forward to working alongside you as your deputy mayor. You will no doubt continue to prioritize this town and, his, and its residents and put what's best for this community first. I'm excited for 2024 and I look forward to the year ahead. Thank you. Well, this is the problem with going last. Everyone has said everything that needs to be said, but I'm going to repeat it for you. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to start by thanking my wife, Mimi, and my family, particularly, particularly the two best Bible holders ever, and to thank you, the Cinemason residents, for the opportunity for me to sit up here. It's an honor and a privilege, and your support validates my decision to serve. Thank you to Mayor McGill for guiding us through the past year with trademark humor, which always helps to keep things in perspective. And congratulations to Deputy Mayor Stephanie Cravel on her appointment to Deputy Mayor. Um, congratulations to both uh, Committeeman uh, McGill and Committee Member Horner on their reelection. Um, as Ernie would say, uh, we're keeping the team together. So we continue to do the work that we've always done. Um, <clears throat> thank you to the entire committee for maintaining the highest standards of civility, respect, transparency, and accessibility. This has allowed us to accomplish a lot in our time here. Every year we strive to improve on these goals and I'm looking forward to working with the rest of the committee and our staff on additional ways to do this. Thank you to Chief Calvaries and the Cinnamon City Police Department, retired Chief Kramer and current Chief Drangola and the Cinnamon City Fire Department. Thank you to Kevin Gaunt and his staff in Public Works. These are the people who keep Cinnamon in a safe, good looking, desirable community to live in and we couldn't ask for any better than this group. Last, but certainly not least, I would like to thank the staff here in the municipal building. They keep Cinnamon in running smoothly particularly the three people at the end of the day is to my left. Our administrator, Mr. Schubiger, our CFO, Ms. Edmondson, and our municipal clerk, Ms. Passion. Together, they do the heavy lifting required to keep our township and this committee on a forward path. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. At the beginning of every year, I like to look back on what's been accomplished in the previous year, and it always boggles my mind to see it all in one list. This year, as in every year, a lot was accomplished, and I'm looking forward to another year of the same. It's sometimes crazy, but always know that this committee, our administration, and staff, and our professionals are always up to the task. I thank you for your trust uh, with the gavel this year. Um, thank you, and I look forward. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming out, and I wish all of you a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. Thank you so much. Uh, next, we have public comment. May I have a motion to open public comment, please? I'll make a motion, Mr. Mayor, to open public comment. Thank you, Commander McGill. May I have a second? 
I'll second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Committee Ms. Sears. Voice vote, please. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Na nays? Abstentions? Public comment is now open. If anyone has any questions or comments, please come forward to the podium. State your name and address for the record. Corey Richardson, 730 South Bellevue Avenue. Um, uh, I'll try and keep this quick. I didn't know that this was all happening tonight. Um, so I know nobody really wants to listen to me talk. Um, I, just, uh, I just wanted to actually open up a conversation. And uh, Mr. McGill, you touched on something that I wanted to talk about. And uh, so did you, Mr. Scribble. Um, but uh, it's completely unrelated to you know anything anybody's probably thinking. But, um, I, I just kind of had a question, uh, you know, with just kind of the current state of America, you know, and just the, you know, all these issues that we have going on across the country and everything that inevitably affect our community and, uh, you know, our level of, you know, this level of government that affects the people. Uh, I was just being curious as to, uh, you know, Mr. Regilly, you talked about communication, you know, um, the between the government and the people. And I think... As we all know, you know what I mean, the United States of America as a whole, our government and, and communication with the people has never been the best. You know, uh, we, we really struggle in that area, which leads to, um, you know, which leads to misinformation. It leads to distrust, which all of that combined, you know, leads to chaos and, you know, a lot of other things. Um, the last time I was in here, I kind of talked about a little bit of communication issues. Um, but I think my biggest thing is um, I'm, I'm curious as to why why our government doesn't use our technology, you know, the, these technological assets that we have to communicate better with people. And I, I kind of touched on this last time I was here, but, uh, you know, and, and it doesn't go without precedent that our, that our government can use this technology to communicate with people securely because the VA uses it. Um, you know, Ms. Kirk, I don't know if you know why my favorite work money came across your desk. Um, but, uh, yeah, I am a veteran with four deployments in Iraq, you know, so I, I do take this stuff very seriously and, and voting is one of the things that I take the most serious. And, uh, and I'm just curious as to why, why nobody's talking about, or, and I'm not saying you guys, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, in general, like, why is nobody talking about what, like, why can we, the people not vote directly on issues in 2024, you know, like I, we have a representative government, I get that, and at one time the representative government made sense back when people had to risk their lives to get to a community meeting back before cars, before technology, before the internet. You know, like it, the, the five of you cannot possibly represent the 20,000 people that live in St. Vincent. It's impossible, you know, like we, we all have different paths that, of our lives that have taken us and got us to where we are today. You know, and so there's, it's just, You've been set up for failure to think that you could possibly represent the best interest of 20,000 people. And then, you know, take that to the next level and into the government, uh, you know, but I'm just kind of talking here because I feel like, you know, this is where a conversation really could happen where, you know, you know, why, why don't we use systems where, you know, if you guys are talking about things, you know, you, you use one of the secure networks to communicate with us, you know, why can't we, if, if, if you know, anything, you know, like, why can't we, vote directly on issues, you know, like with, it's pretty simple. You, know, you can at any given moment, pick up your phone and send a message. All of us could get, and all of us could securely vote on it. And I, it can be secure because again, that's how the VA does all their communication. Now, the military uses their communication via internet and apps and everything like that. The only branch of government that doesn't use this, use this communication to, to our benefit is is the representative level of government. And again, not saying you guys, you know, just as, you know, in that way, but it's like, why, why does nobody talk about this? Like we, we are in 2024, all of these assets are available to us. So like, you guys don't have to guess what we want. You can just send a message and ask us or just let, or just, you know, Mayor Conde, congratulations, by the way, to everybody, but you know, Mayor Conde, instead of wondering what we want, you know, you, you could just be like, hey guys, uh, this is what we're, thinking about doing uh, at Riverton Park. Uh, how do you guys feel? Vote yay or nay? And, you know, and it is 17,000 of us vote yay, and you say nay, 
well, then we know you're the problem. You know, like you're not representing our best interest because we just said to you that we all want this. And then you're, I, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just kind of curious as to like, why these discussions don't happen or are they happening? Um, or like, you know, like I, I'm, I just feel like, you know, communication is everything. In, in Communication is everything in marriage. It's everything in any relationship that you have, and we we do have a relationship. Um, you know, it's it's not an intimate relationship, but like government and the citizens is a relationship, and 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 there's not, and you know, there's really sorry, I, <laughs> but like, but you know, they, I, I just feel like we could be doing such a better job. We have so many assets out there. There's so much technology. We have artificial intelligence now. We have robots, and yet we. You know, to, to, to be able to talk to you guys, I gotta sh we got to show up to a meeting on Monday night at 6.30 after everybody's worked all day. You know what I mean? They're, they're exhausted, you know, uh, you know. And the last meeting I was at, there's four people here. I don't think it's because people don't care. I think it's because people are too tired to care. People don't have time to care. Everybody is overworked and underpaid, you know. And, um, and then, again, it just results in a, in a, a breakdown. Uh, again, I, I don't want to waste everybody's style. I'm just wondering, you know, if that's something that we could talk about. I mean, you know, what to explore, what would this look like? Um, you know, um, that, that's a, absolutely something we can get over a conversation with you about. Uh, I don't know where it will go, but conversation starts at the beginning. That's all in minutes, and that's how everything starts with the conversation. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, I'll, I'll be back next meeting when everybody's not waiting for me to shut up and go home. But, <laughs> uh, so, but, but I'll be it. That's all I want to say. And on our man, real quick. Absolutely. So, so Corey, I think you, you bring up two really distinct issues, right? One is kind of the legislative actions that you talk about, hey, 20,000 people could vote on an issue. Right. The other is communication, right? So the legislative thing is probably well above the pay grade, no disrespect to my colleagues, right here, right? But the communication thing, and I know you brought that up when you were here before about a totally separate issue, but it all centered around communication. Right? Right. So I think that's a very fair and valid thing to bring up. And I, I know that's something that uh, newly installed Mayor Conda was very passionate about is, is communication. And I think we've done a tremendous job in kind of enhancing how we communicate with residents. And that's really on his work. Right. So I know that that's something that he's super passionate about. So uh, I would think in 2024 and it sounds like you're going to be at some of the meetings, if not all of them, um, you will you will start to see. And certainly, you know, I think we all kind of talked about how we interact with residents and how we welcome that feedback. So this is great, whether it's this night or any night. Um, so we welcome this back and forth when it comes to communication. I think that's probably where we will go first, right? Like, let's tackle the communication before we kind of look at the, the national way you yeah, can yeah. go, right? So I think we'll go there, but thank you for the feedback. Certainly, thank you for coming out tonight. So, yeah, I'll close. Okay, I'll put, and then I, I watched the video the last time I was here, and uh, I came off pretty hostile. I have violent <laughs> I didn't realize it. Uh, and then me and my wife were watching, and my wife had a field day because I was like, wow, I come off very aggressive. I, I wasn't angry, but she was like, I told you, you come off angry and hostile. So watch some of the other readings. And the power was well, nothing. I, I didn't want, but well, that's not fit. You know, it's out here, we got you know, first people come on and start screaming at you. But that's how I figured, you know, again, at another level of communication. It, and by the way, everybody wants to go on the By the way, thanks for your service on behalf of that dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, seeing no one else come forward, may I have a motion to close public comments? I'll make that motion, Mr. Baird, to close public Thank you, Mr. McGill. May I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you. Uh, voice vote, please. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nays? No abstentions? Public comment is now closed, and we have come to the point in the evening where I'm going to ask Father Jim Grogan to come forward and give the benefit. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Let us pray.
A few hours ago, we sent the Pledge of Allegiance as we began this meeting, and we do so. We place ourselves beneath the protection of a loving God. We ask him to continue to bless all those who live in St. and Township, all those who serve the residents, and all those who serve in positions of government and authority. May they continue to do their best efforts through the grace and wisdom that comes from on high. We ask God to continue his blessing throughout the coming year. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And that brings us to adjournment. May I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Segrist. May I have a second? I'll second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. McGill. Voice code, please. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nays? Uh, uh, abstentions? Uh, this meeting is now adjourned. Our next meeting is Monday, January 22nd, 2024, at 6.30 p.m., right here, same place. You guys have a great new year, and before everybody jumps up and leaves, anybody who wishes to come uh, with us, we're uh, going to Sweetwater to celebrate the fact that we now have a government in Cinnamon Cinnamon once again. Um, so feel free to come by and say hi, and I appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Oh, do I get to do this? Do I? You're up. Oh, we're done. <laughs> oh.